Next story is the first time I ever met Phil's dad, read by Caleb Martinez. Yeah. I just punched her boobs. <laughs> hey, what's up? It sucks that I have to follow up Gary Busey. <laughs> It's my turn. Let's take a look at this. The first time I ever... Dot, dot, dot. The first time I ever met Phil's dad, I knew he was the dad for me. <laughs> Did you know that he's the vice president? That means he's the second in command at the company where he wo works. Kind of like Dan Quayle for the U.S. of A. He sits around all day and tells other people who aren't the vice president what to do. Then they do it. He gets to tell them that they did it wrong. I asked Bill's dad if he would be my new dad. And he laughed. Probably because he has a really good sense of humor. Oh, I love my new dad. <laughs> Shit. This kid's fucked up, whoever wrote this. Anyway. <laughs> Phil told me yesterday that his dad's office has a big, giant room with a computer in it that they have to keep really cold or else the computer will melt and the building will catch on fire. I hope they keep it really cool because all the time because I don't want the building to catch on fire while Phil's dad is inside of it. He might have to jump out the window and he might have to break his leg if he did that because it's a long way down and his office is on the 43rd floor. It's practically the 44th floor if you count the basement. Phil's dad let me come to work with him one day but he wouldn't let me touch anything probably because everything there is important. <laughs> they have all these tubes with squiggly lines all over it. The tubes are important, so I couldn't touch them. My dad, well, my old one that is, has a really boring job, and he's in charge of, he is not in charge of anybody. All he does is play the French horn in the symphony, gay. <laughs> He has to throw his spit down on the ground when nobody's looking. You know what, Dad? I'm looking. <laughs> and one time, he threw his spit on somebody's shoe. And I saw that shit. I went out to a restaurant with Phil and Phil's parents once, and his dad did not even have to pay. He had a card made of plastic. And they took it away and gave it back to him. Shit, I'm sorry. I had to laugh because the way plastic was spelled in this is P-L-A-S-T-I-C-K. And it makes me laugh every time I read it. I'm sorry. My dad has to pay with money, dollar sign, dollar sign. But Phil's dad doesn't even have to give them any money. Once, Phil told me that his dad could rip a phone book in half. And the residential pages, not the business pages, the residential pages are the thickest. I never saw that Phil's dad rip it in half, but I believe Phil because his dad is really strong. One time, okay, once I asked my old dad to rip the phone book in half, but he couldn't because he never had the phone book, because he never paid it, because he never paid the phone bill. The phones in my old house don't make any noise, and my dad say that they were for decoration, like the Christmas tree from last year. Oh, shit. Earlier this morning, when I went to Phil's house, so that I could go to work with Phil's dad again, Phil told me that he had already left. 
I knew Phil was lying. <laughs> I knew he was lying to me because I hid in the bushes and saw Phil's dad get in his car. <sighs> his car is a Jaguar and it pounces on other cars when you are asleep. <laughs> After Phil's dad left, I went back inside. That's right. I went back inside and I sat on Phil's head. Because that is what you get for lying. The end. Okay, Caleb. Welcome to 2008. <laughs> <laughs>